Hello and welcome to to this video. Um, here is the pattern that I'll be using. It's the 4070 by Simplicity. I am taking the um, strapless top pattern and just going to adjust the height of it. Um, that's the pattern there and the drawing for it. So I'm working out which pattern pieces that I need um, to begin with. Uh, number 13 is the very back of the dress. So um, I disregarded that because I'm just going to copy 14 and use that twice for each side. So you'll be cutting out four pieces of number 14. Here you can see me um, working out how I want to add paper to the top of um, the pattern pieces. I did plan to cut out the pattern pieces completely out of paper, then decided to just add a bit on the top. Um, <coughs> you can see me working it out here. Uh, I should have just done it on the edge of the paper to be completely honest. So what I'm doing is I just want to like heighten the top of the pattern piece. Um, it's taken me a few tries to do this, as you can see. I, I didn't really have a plan. And then I go and use the bottom of the paper, which is good, so I can continue using the rest of the paper for the other pattern pieces. And I'm just using some really low tack tape that my mum has. And I'm just sticking it to the paper so then I can add a straighter edge onto that piece. This is the side front pattern piece. As you can see, it goes on a slope. So I wanted to just add a bit more height onto there because at the end of the project, we will be adding a uh, cape to the back of the dress and I wanted it to be a bit more seamless instead of it going all the way down my back. <laughs> I just wanted some height on the back so I had to uh, add height to most of the pieces. As you can see here, just cutting out the piece. Um, and I did this to two of the pieces. And there I am having a look at number 14. I can't remember what I was watching at this point um, on my phone, which you can see in the upper right hand corner. <coughs> But yeah, I decided to do only two of the pieces, um, so 12 and 14. Because 11 is the very front of the bodice and I didn't want to change anything about that. Um, it was perfect height for what I wanted and I'm cutting it off screen, brilliant. And so you can see they line up there. And as I was doing this just on the go, uh, I don't really have any solutions. I thought I should write um, to cut four pieces of 14. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so the only thing we're really modifying is the height and then cutting out 14 four times instead of twice and we're not using number 13. So these are all the pieces and that's the order that they're going in. Uh, number 11 you cut on the fold. Um, and it mirrors itself. Okay, so now I'm moving on to doing the cutting out of the pieces. And as you can see, it says center fold on piece 11. Uh, I folded the fabric in half. So that um, fold there is the center of the piece. I bought three yards of this fabric just to make, to make sure I had enough. Um, 
you d I haven't recorded myself cutting out the lining because the lining is exactly the same uh, process but in a different fabric and as you can see me here lining up the pieces making sure I've got enough of room around them to cut them out etc and because I have quite a lot of fabric I wasn't worried about uh, wasting much of it and I'll just use scraps for other projects. As you can see I'm using some straight pins to just pin these down. Um, the low tack tape was very low tack so um, I had to pin even on the paper. Um, I'm not very good at uh, doing voiceovers, I'm sorry. Uh, <coughs> I'm trying not to uh, do this too many times. I was struggling a bit with uh, piercing the paper with the pins, but yeah. Oh, you can see my head in it, that's great. <laughs> So I tend to do the corners nine times out of ten. Uh, it keeps the piece in place and it's better than having every edge um, tacked down. Um, if you try to do one on each edge, it will make it easier for when you're cutting it out. Because I had so much fabric, I had to cut it very awkwardly. And as you'll see in the next clip, um, once I've cut these out, you'll see when I'm ironing them that the edges are not clean at all. But I'm not worried because um, the sizing that I picked out to cut out was much bigger than I am. So I've got quite a lot of, I've got a fair amount of seam allowance and it should be all fine. Um, I need to get some new scissors at some point because these ones I've had for quite a while and I need to uh, keep them sharp. And you can slowly see the fabric falling off the table because the other, the rest of the fabric was on a chair and uh, it was just dragging everything down. <laughs> the fabric is lovely. I got it from CNH Fabrics or Cloth and Hamblin. And um, it was about six pounds a, uh, a meter. I was trying to cut the notches um, in the fabric, but it ended up not showing up that much. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it. So I've got to cut out another two, which I was trying to signal to you there, of number 14. So I'm taking the pins out, putting those to the side, and then cutting out another lot of the, <laughs> out of the fabric. <clears throat> and I thought I'd do it on this edge just because it's on the edge and I can just cut around it if I need the rest of the fabric. I ended up um, using the fabric to the side of this for the top strap or the off the shoulder strap thing. Uh, which I haven't recorded because I didn't know what I was doing but I will explain in a video, um, my next video probably, about that. Um, it was very simple, it's just a four inch wide uh, strip of fabric that I cut out which I am currently embroidering by hand which doesn't look bad for a first try. So here I am just getting all the pieces, I'm pinning them ready to iron. Please iron your fabric when you're doing uh, sewing projects because if you iron your project after you've sewn everything together, then um, it's going to warp the uh, shapes that you've cut out. Uh, if you iron your fabric before you cut the things out, iron it after and you should be all good. Uh, I'm just putting my uh, pattern pieces back into a zip wallet just to make sure they're all together and here is my ironing. I wanted to film myself ironing because it's so important to iron pieces. 
it makes the fabric look nice and easier to work with as well because I will have to sew the curve in the top ironing it will help as well so you iron every piece it doesn't have to be perfect but get most of the big creases out if you can it's such a quick thing to do I thought I burnt myself at this point when I was picking up one of the pieces because it was so hot um, make sure to test your iron on your fabric to make sure you're not burning it if you use um, the satin um, if you use satin for your project and then use a too hot of an iron on it it will shrink and shrivel and burn so now we are on to pinning which is very exciting so what i do is i pair up the pieces uh, uh what i did here was i did one side at a time without pinning to the center front so i did the side front the side and then the back which you can see me lining up here and then after these pieces are sewn together, um, you sew them to the centre front. And uh, now that we have the pieces all sewn together, make sure to flatten your seams and then they look lovely on the outside. The only thing with this is when I try to iron the front seams because of the curve, they came out a bit bobbly, but uh, yeah, it should be fine once they relax a little bit and they've been hung up. I'm looking at it now and it doesn't look too bad from the front and it's gonna be covered up by straps mostly anyway with her shoulder piece etc uh, which I need to go shopping for again and some uh, I'm probably gonna make some boot covers so I need some fabric for that uh, the belt pieces the fluff that's on her arm uh, the fluff that's on the top of the uh, boots everything um, yeah so <sighs> Once this is all done, that will be the top halfway done. Um, remember to do lining to give a good finish. Remember to iron the lining as well. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Um, and I'll show you how far this got to as well. So I'm currently um, embroidering the straps as I said earlier. And then uh, I'm going to put the straps together, sew them onto the bodice. I've got the little ruffle done as well. There's a lot of things that I haven't uh, filmed because I've been doing bits here and there. And then I'm going to move on to the skirt and do the skirt and lining and everything. So thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the new video. Please like and subscribe and tell me what you think. Bye.